The Queen Elizabeth II Fields Challenge is a nationwide initiative that is designed to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and the arrival of the 2012 Olympics in London. The project allows members of the public to nominate open spaces that they wish to be protected for 99 years. 2012 spaces will be chosen to receive the reward. Now we are joined by uh, Fields and Trust Regional Manager Mark Healy, who is involved in the Queen Elizabeth II Field Project. So Mark, could you please tell us a bit more about the challenge and your role? Sure. Essentially it's a legacy project to celebrate both the Diamond Jubilee and the Olympic and Paralympics for next year. So we're approaching all landowners across the United Kingdom um, to nominate their sites to become a QE2 field. We did this once before, when the Olympics last came to London, in 1948, uh, to commemorate King George V. Uh, we protected 500 sites back then. This time around, bearing in mind it's 2012, we're going to aim to protect 2012 sites across the UK. We are now joined by Adrian Ramsey, Deputy of the Green Party, telling us why he thinks it is important to save open spaces. I think playing fields are really important for local communities, for people to have exercise for their general well-being, and of course it's really important for wildlife and the natural environment that we protect our open spaces and the countryside. So we'll certainly be working alongside any scheme that wants to protect green spaces, and I'm really pleased that there's such interest in it from Norfolk residents. Adrian Ramsey tells us how we can continue to make the scheme successful. I think it's really important that people nominate spaces they want to protect as playing fields or as natural spaces for the environment. They can do it through this project, they can do it through the local councils. We just need to take steps to make sure that we are protecting these spaces for the future. Now one other question is why should people be worried about protecting their green open spaces? There's a statistic that's 50 playing fields each year have been lost to development. Um, and we're, we're crucially aware that green open spaces are the heartbeat of local communities. Um, the other reason why people should nominate their sites is that there's some development funds open to each of these open spaces, up to £80,000 to develop both sporting facilities or community facilities. So two real reasons, one to save and, one, and two to develop. This tree has stood here for many years and could stand here for a further 99 years if people continue to nominate and vote for open spaces in their local area. The competition continues into mid-2012, so there's plenty of time to get involved.